Kalaitis, and I'm a senior economist at EF, the Manufacturers Organization. I think manufacturers and engineering companies uh, can learn from uh, how their uh, relative performance compares to uh, the industry benchmark, as well as perhaps uh, the risks and opportunities facing companies in the supply chain or even the demand conditions for their customers. Uh, also, perhaps a good opportunity for policymakers to stay on top of uh, the risks and opportunities facing the manufacturing sector in order to uh, design appropriate policy solutions. Well, I think again, uh, it will give a good overview of what demand conditions are likely to look, uh, what are the key risks uh, to, to that outlook, as well as what are the big opportunities in the short as well as medium term. Uh, yes, uh, all the recent data shows uh, uh, strength in demand conditions for manufacturers, both uh, domestic and external, uh, and especially on the export side, we're seeing a uh, pickup in demand from all our key markets. Again, uh, demand is quite supportive, uh, that's helping. Uh, uncertainty is not, but we haven't seen a big impact from that yet. Uh, exchange rate movements, sterling depreciation is a bit of a double-edged sword, helps with export competitiveness, but we have seen uh, a huge rise in input costs, uh, putting pressure on manufacturers' margins. At the moment, manufacturers are sticking to their business plan and, and pushing through with their planned investments. Now, as we get closer to the fishing, uh, finish line, I think it's normal that manufacturers might turn more cautious uh, with their investment, especially those with uh, large upfront costs and a long payback period. I think there is such a wide spectrum of possible scenarios that it will be almost impossible to tease out specific implications, but I would say that broadly any deal that doesn't give manufacturers access to the customs union and the skills they need to run their business will be a negative development. Yes, I am. Uh, manufacturers are uh, doing all the right things. They're uh, targeting growth, uh, they're adopting new business models, they're innovating and they're exporting. And of course, we have a, a new industrial strategy in the making, which hopefully should create the supporting environment for manufacturers to push on with their business plans and uh, secure the long-term competitiveness.